can't even see the blade on Kratos. It's moving so oh! Hi, I'm Anhad. I'm captain of MIT Combat Robotics, and this is Kratos. So I was really inspired by the BattleBot Bloodsport. It hits really hard, it does really well, and I wanted to bring that to the 30s. But the main weakness of Bloodsport is that they're vulnerable when their weapon is not up to speed. With this robot, I tried to optimize that and get the weapon up to speed as fast as possible. In order to make that happen, we built our own motor, which we think is the most powerful motor that this weight class has ever seen. So it's a new type of motor called an axial flux motor. It's super compact, it's super power dense, and it actually takes up about 10% of our entire weight budget is purely spent on the motor. No one makes anything like this at this scale. This motor was entirely developed by us and built by us in-house. So the development of this motor started about half a year ago. I did a lot of simulation work, coming up with a really preliminary design and seeing how the current would flow, how the magnetic fields would be generated. And the rest of the design was based off of holding all those magnetic coils in the right place optimizing it so that it would be strong and robust. They're trying to do a few new things with that motor. They've got a variable KV motor in there. Fight, robots fight. There we go. Neither robot's spinning up fast. That is an under-motored or at least under-geared weapon on Kratos. So what's happening is they need to try to spin up very slowly. It's a little counterintuitive. And the electronics are just saying, absolutely not. This is way too hard. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, and they give up. The bot sure does look good, though. A lot of beautiful machining. The trouble is, this is a robot that is trying a lot of new things. Yes. I mean, there's a ton of engineering that's been poured into this. And sometimes it just doesn't all come together at the first event.